I'm making a video about Mountain Dew. I'm drinking Sunkist. How ironic. Well, as the title implies, I am doing the top tens of my favorite Mountain Dews. Even though... Okay, before I get to the list, all the Mountain Dew that's over here, I actually have physical, you know, representations of Mountain Dew. Don't ask what happened to this one. My friend brought it for me, and it got destroyed. Shit. Fuck. And it got destroyed while on the way here. And so there's that. But there are two missing, and two of them I fucking refuse to try. Well... One I refuse to try, and the other one I refuse to buy. Mm. Anyway, let's not waste much more time, and let's get to number 10, the worst Mountain Dew, in my opinion. I know there's like a lot more Mountain Dew out there than just fucking these ones. I'm just narrowing it down to 10 on the ones I have over here, minus Do. Let's get started. Your PC has been unprotected for 17 days. Fuck you! Number 10 for the worst Mountain Dew you can have is anything pineapple. Baja pineapple, the Ma Maui whatever pineapple Mountain Dew. Fuck no. Never getting that. Never trying it. Pineapple carbonated. If you drink pineapple carbonated, carbonated and love it, why? Please, I'd like to know the appeal of it. And don't say it reminds you of the beach. No, it doesn't remind you of a fucking beach. It's fucking bullshit. Baja, not Baja. That's like on the list. That's actually good, Mountain Dew. The pineapple Mountain Dew, it's the fucking worst you can possibly choose. And number nine. I actually have an example of this because my friend basically made me buy it and try it. And as you can see, I didn't even finish it. And its expiration date is July something 2022 July 18th 2022 as you can try and get it in shot there you go July 18th 2022 I refuse to fucking finish it well now I kind of can't even though it's actually still carbonated somehow and yes it has been open but the ninth worth founder that you can fucking have in the almost the world is flaming hot why is this a thing well why is it a thing? Don't know. Don't care. Not trying it. Not finishing it. I don't even know why I still have it. But. Fuck that. And number eight. This one I refuse to buy. Because, well, it's not a good amount to do at all. I misspelled number seven. Fuck. Fuck. Number eight is Diet Mountain Dew. And now I know. If you have diabetes or anything and you still want to drink Mountain Dew, or if you just want a safer Mountain Dew and, you know, not the regular over there or any other of these that are high in calories, I forgot to put one. Oh, I'm going to put on the same list. Diet and Mountain Dew Zero Sugar, I'm putting them on the same list. Now, if you like it because zero sugar, no calories, no nothing, good. That's really good. But in my opinion, I like sweet. I have a sweet tooth for these things. But a number eight on my list, diet, zero sugar, I refuse to buy. Number seven, we're finally getting into the good territory. Number seven, of course it's at the very fucking bottom of the box list. Now I would have cans, but they're all gone, because these boxes are old. Now if you could have saw for a little bit, number seven is Mountain Dew Spark. You can actually see the age. Get my face out of shot so the camera can focus. Yeah, July 4th, 2022. Not July 40th, 2022. July 4th. <laughs> but this is the seventh best Mountain Dew. I wrote down the list. I would forget. I always forget. I always come back. Like one of my videos that I made. Like, I don't know how long ago. Number six. This one. Everyone knows, everyone loves, normal Mountain Dew. Just plain old ass Mountain Dew. There ain't really nothing to say. It's in, It's basically the middle of the list. It's meh. That's actually not to say for number five. Number five is an interesting one. 
Number five is, it's on my table, fancy. Number five is the John Cena himself, Major Melon. When did this one expire? Mm. October 19th, 2022. This one hasn't expired yet. Nice. Too bad they're all gone. But to me, Major Melon is all right. It's good. I'd rather have it over six and above. Other than that, it's good. Number four. Number four. Number four. Uh oh, I forgot number four. Well, in my opinion, number four is the same as this one. But I totally forgot. I added a different one to the list without me remembering it. But number four was supposed to be Livewire. I do have a box of Livewire. I'm not getting it. I'm lazy. But in the same actually the same actual range, I would say Frostbite can also go with it. Is Frostbite's good? Livewire's good? They're both good. But I think I'd rather have Livewire over Frostbite. And no, I'm not adding 11 because... Yes. Number three, ooh, 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 number three, people are going to be pissed at me for saying this. Number three, my third favorite Mountain Dew is Baja Blast. Why Baja Blast for number three, not number one? Because you little selfish pricks, it's not that good. It's good, it's better than the other ones. Actually, I might even move it up to number four. Because it's, it's alright, it's not overly good. Now, if I go to Taco Bell, yes, that is the only drink I'm getting. But I'm not... If I see this, but I also see the other two that's over here, I'm by chance going to get the other two before I get that. Maybe even Cherry Coke. I love me some Cherry Coke. Baja Blast number three. Maybe even number four. It depends. All right. We're getting into the final two. Which one do you think will be my favorite, and which one would you think will be my second favorite? Now, these two, I actually really love both amazingly. But I'm going to have to say, number two spot will go to Code Red. I do love me Code Red, but it I, there's an option over Code Red that I'd rather have. But you know what? Code Red, still very amazing. Number one. Which one could it be? Voodoo? The Christmas ginger one? The pitch black one? Maybe. I do love the pitch black one. Or could it be the best Mountain Dew in your eyes? And in a lot of people's opinions, I'd say over half people's opinions, yes, this would be number one. But on some people's list, it might not be number one. But it's number one for me, and that is Voltage. Ah, smells like cardboard. Because it's a cardboard box. Yes. Alright. Well, I have to think that's the end of the video. I'm almost out of sun kissed. I don't even know why I bought this. It's not really that good. But maybe I'll do a top video on Suncast. Who knows? Other than that, hope you enjoyed. Check out my podcast, The Undead Podcast, the second to last Saturday of every month. It was second to last Sunday of every month, but I'm changing it to second to last Saturday of every month. This Sunday, it's still going to be this Sunday in October, October 23rd, but I'm busy Saturday the 22nd. But... It's going to be with Thomas and Jacob, or Nitro and don't know yet. He is making a channel, I heard. Anyway, I think that's the end of today's video. I'll see you guys. I clicked the wrong button. Fuck me.